Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today I was just getting ready to uh, water my uh, lysum with some plant fertilizer. This is the one that I'm using, just in case you're wondering. This is 153015 water soluble. Now I water the alyssum every, I think, seven to 10 days or so, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna show you that. But I thought if you're curious, this is the food that I'm using. But while I was doing that, I just remember that I actually layered a couple of my quick fire fab branches um, last fall so I'm gonna go ahead and check on them because usually it takes about um, a whole season from fall until spring for them to be well rooted to be transplanted so I'm just gonna go check on them and if they are ready I'm gonna go plant um, that in the uh, planter that I have in the back so let's go ahead and do that and um, if not we're just gonna have to do this again next time so here is the first uh, branch that I layered and that is the second one right under that rock there. I know it's hard to see so that's the second one that I've layered. Um, I think I'm just going to check one because I only have one space to plant the one uh, plant. So hopefully one of these will have enough roots for me to plant. So I'm just going to quickly pick up this rock because that was what uh, I used to hold down the branch um, last fall. So here's a little, another piece, a rock here that I've got. I'm gonna lift that up. And see if I'm able to get some good roots in here. Oh, there's a little earthworm there. Oh, there you go. Okay, so here we go. So usually if you tug on it, and if you feel a little bit of resistance, that's probably a good sign that um, it's got enough roots. Let's see. Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. It looks like I might be able to plant it. Um, let's see. Um, yep. Okay. This is pretty good, I think. So I'm just going to get um, a clipper and just um, clip that right off. There it is. Isn't that cute? So, I mean, if I want to, I could have just waited a, a month or two more and then transplanted in the fall. That way um, I have a much more mature sort of root system, but I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and plant it in the back now. There's my little quick fire fab, isn't that cute? So I cannot wait to see how it's gonna do in pots because I now have uh, two. This little guy in here and the one that I have at the front. So uh, right now I am going to go and show you the uh, hydrangea that I actually grew from seed. I'm gonna transplant it into a container right now. So here it is, it's this tiny little thing. So um, like I said, I uh, it's quite small, but uh, I'm actually super excited to see how it's gonna do this summer. Um, so I'm gonna transplant it into a little planter where I have more space for it to kind of grow. Cause right now it's kind of tight, right? There's really not much room uh, for it to uh, grow to its uh, full potential. So here it is all planted and the soil is actually quite moist. So I don't think I'm gonna water anymore. And uh, here is just a little update on the two stems of the bobo that I divided and planted a couple weeks ago. So right now, I think I'm just going to walk around the back garden as well as the front garden and just so show you some of the beautiful blooms that we currently have because um, I have columbines in the back that are starting to bloom and I have uh, tulips at the front and they're starting to fade. So let's just walk around and show you all of that right now.
So that pretty much concludes today's video. I want to say thank you so, so much for spending time with me in the garden today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you all next time on the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye for now.